What's up guys? Today is Monday. That means it's Joe's All-Star Tool Monday. We're on his truck and he's got a ton of Milwaukee stuff just for you guys. So let's take a look, see what he's got. Come on. How y'all doing? I hope y'all had a great weekend. I know every weekend's a great weekend. Again, uh, I want to thank all the well wishes for my wife Judy. She's getting better. It's going to be a long road, but we're together, so that's all that counts. Uh, we can do that climb together. It's all matters. Um, yeah, every week you'll see a lot of the same stuff here, but they're never the same ones. I keep going through them like candy. Um, I have guys eating them up so i go through a bunch of them so it's a good day yeah oh. so for you guys that don't know all the joe's 18 volt stuff's on this side oh and it's 12 volt stuff's on this side not really because i got 18 volt that's floated in over here too <laughs> it's just, well, it used to be that way <laughs> it used to be that way but it's just what fits but before we get started and we got a few for the bucket of cash okay and i'm going to spring one on you because I had some guy uh, come on my truck this last week and sprung it on me, and you may know this guy. He says, uh, Sidney Coon. He says he's a route to you. He's from right around this area. I mean, don't live far from here at all. Yeah. But anyways, um, he put 10 in the bucket of cash, so I figured he had to be a route of yours. <laughs> so, Sidney Coon, thank you. Um, we have Mr. Robert Bolander. Okay. We got one, one for Mr. Robert here. Oh. I wish I was better on names than this, but Peter Kristlov. Okay. We have three for Mr. Peter. And mm -hmm. I want to thank, I, I thank everybody that gets in a bucket of cash. I thank everybody for... So every, every week every we have we have somebody new that watches and they say, "What's the deal with the bucket of cash?" Oh yeah, I explain so it over when you buy a hundred dollars worth of tools from Joe, or you make a hundred dollar payment on your tool bill, Joe credits your account a hundred dollars, but he takes one dollar out, of his, out of his pocket, pocket, puts your name on it with an ink pen, See? just like he did yep. for Noah Morrison. Noah Morrison. And then he puts it in the bucket of the cash, and when it gets full, he draws it, and then your name goes in the on the side. On one of the list, until they get all see, filled up, and then and we it, go in. And it's usually between two hundred and seventy dollars and like three fifty. Three fifty. One time, one time, well, because we waited a little bit longer for your party here. Like you can see, it's four fifty three there. That, uh, that is the highest. Um, and yes, and I thank everybody for every little bit. I have some guys, I, I ship $10, $20, mm -hmm. California. But anyways, so we'll start big with Milwaukee and we'll get this little in Milwaukee. Now I'm going to do it today. Joe always, every time he says oh. Milwaukee, he has to go. Nothing but heavy duty. Yeah, hit that and say nothing but heavy duty. duty. Nothing but heavy duty. So. We like that. So. We're waiting on Joe to warranty the sign because it's going to break <laughs> one day. Um. A couple of my vendors have a deal on the Milwaukee chainsaw, the 16 inch. There was a day when I was taking the trailer home on my long, windy, twisty road, and they have a spot for the wrench to hooks up on here. Um, and you do all your adjusting on the outside, you don't have to wrench anything inside. They come with the big old uh, 12 amp hour battery. Mm -hmm. Now what's really nice with them, you just put bar oil in there, there's no pulling, there's no no getting gas oil, there's no mixing junk, there's and no spilling like, gas. And you know, you come back to it a year later and like, oh man. Carburetor's jailed up, it's damn like thing will crank. Nothing works. All you do is hit this here button and look, it's got a full charge, it's ready to play. I can tell you what I've learned about a chainsaw in my life so far. I don't care what brand it is, you can buy a steel, you can buy a Husqvarna or whatever. If you don't know how to cuss, 
<laughs> and you got a chainsaw that's a couple year old, you will learn how. <laughs> and if you if you've changed your ways, let's say you become a preacher, it will come back to you. Back. It will come back. I guarantee you. <laughs> I, I am. I will uh, wholeheartedly agree with you. I <laughs> it will, will definitely. I, I've I've had several burned up several in lifetime, but uh, anyways, sixteen inch bar. So I get home, and big storm, put a big tree in, down in the row, and I had my big trailer behind me. There's no way I'm backing out of it. Mile walk home, it's not getting dark. Get my get my chainsaw, battery, drive, have my wife drive, because we did a little video of what mm -hmm. I cut through, but cut through the tree with this thing like nothing. That night, psh, no pulling, no nothing, just battery, boom. Boom. Bada boom, bada bing, able to drive through. Um, well, did you sell it for a demo after that, or, or did you just keep it for yourself? Oh, I, got, I got a lot of Milwaukee in my garage. <laughs> well, he says, why do you do that? I go, it's nothing but the best. Well, anyways, the deal they have going on is you get the Milwaukee chainsaw, yep. the 12 amp hour battery, the big new fuel blower, Mm -hmm. It used to be rated at 100 mile per hour, now they're rated at 120. Okay. Um, and a uh, rapid charger for 775. Okay. So the rapid Those charger. Those big batteries are like 300 bucks anyway, ain't they? Three something. Yeah. It's rapid charger. I mean, they don't put that in every kit, so. Mm -hmm. They put it with the big one inch guns and stuff like that, but you got it with this here kit. So So is it one battery or two batteries? One battery. One battery. Okay. One battery. So chainsaw, battery, charger, blower. Mm-hmm. Well I figure if that chainsaw is about like I bought one of those pole saw. I got a pole saw. It's like a you know, about twelve foot long yeah. with yep. a little baby chainsaw on the end of hooks on your weed eater. Yeah. I've learned this. What you can do in 30 minutes with that thing will take you about two days of picking up and dragging up. to clean up. And, so. and you try to see how much taller you can be on your toes because yep. you're trying to reach more. Absolutely. And, and the thing with the um, Milwaukee's bow saw is you got that four foot extension, so mm -hmm. now you're 16 foot. I had a story about that when I went all around my thing, but we'll talk about that another day. Okay. Even more Milwaukee can. I even have the little hatchet they caught. Yep. Looks like a chainsaw, but works like a hatchet. Again, and this is a 12 bolt. Okay. I don't make 120 cuts, three inch on hard wood, on a single charge on a four amp hour battery. Wow. And we're talking the little four amp hour battery. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's more cutting you want to do. Yeah. Um, that's pretty good. These things are incredible. Now, a guy getting ready for deer season, that right there is the way to clean it's, out the sheep lanes. It's, it's perfect. You're up there in the Little tree stand. Little handheld thing. It's quiet. You're not pulling while you're up in the tree stand. You're just hitting a button. Yep. You got juice on the battery. You're caught. That's pretty good. So there you go, deer hunters. It's clean out your sheep lanes. Milwaukee will make a, a battery-operated tractor with a battery-operated bush hog one day. <laughs> It's gone. <laughs> I'm just turning this around, but it's a three quarter inch, uh, one key. Okay. We'll talk about that another day. Saws. So, I had the little, the little 18 volt hacksaw there, the other mm -hmm. gear day, but it's gone. But I got a couple of big, uh, the the big, big saws all in. Yeah. Got one here, one buried back there. So we have these. So, one way or another, we can get you cut in something. That's it. You know, PCB pipe. Uh, and you probably trees. got a Milwaukee razor knife on here if they won't cut their finger. We got it somewhere. <laughs> so, we can cut. Yep. Okay. As I said, we can cut. Now, for your tools, and I found out from one of my guys, uh, it might be Mr. Peter, uh, somebody from California. He calls us the free states of the U.S. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they're not any of you. They're not anymore. They're talking they must about, be living in common your form. They're, they're talking about getting more restricted, but I have boots for the ratchets. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a quarter inch, this is a quarter inch. Yep. Difference being is this one here. I'm gonna grab a three-eighths ratchet. I got a three a quarter inch ratchet up here. So let's uh let's just switch here. 
three eighths and yep. three eighths. Here's a three eighths tool. Mm -hmm. This one fits your common three eighths tool. Yeah, they make a different one for the extended reach. Yeah. I thought it was would be the same, but it's not because the regular the one, down, yeah. the regular one actually hooks up on here. Mm -hmm. and this is where I learn something new from my mechanics all the time. And he actually says, Joe, look at the picture here. So yep. I have these in. I believe you're asking for a couple of these. I have them in. Okay. All you do is give me a text. I think they're watching us as we're taping this. I don't know how you're doing that. <laughs> Call us the free states and they're spying on us here. But I have these. They're like uh, 31 33 bucks. So you got them for the quarter inch and quarter the three inch and three eighths. So, so if you got a long neck one, them. you get the little short boot. If you got a regular neck one, you get the long one. It's kind of backwards, but hey, I, it yeah. is what it is. Yep. But it puts it on. And what it does, it gets in somewhere, gets in somewhere, you know, the long necks, they get in somewhere. Yeah. So, if I have something big, bulky in the way, I'm thinking that's what they're thinking. There you go. So, have a great week ahead. Uh, anything you need, give me a call, give me a text, and uh, anything that's I do it. for you, let me know. All right, guys, like always, if you need something from Joe, his number is right down here at 731 412 7295. Super easy. Shoot him a text, throw him some money. You got some tools in the mail. Easy as can be. Like always, guys, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over our merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes are down here. If you're not subscribed, super easy. Don't cost you a dime. Take your finger, click that button. You guys have a great week, and we will catch you later. See ya.